come on. What's up, early gang? Holy moly. I'm coming in on two wheels. I hope you can hear me. It looks like you can. Check, check. Ha, ha, ha. We got sound. We got microphone. We do not yet have camera for cards. Let's figure out how to make this work. Ooh. Holy moly. You ever had one of those days? Let's see. I had a meeting quite a ways away. I have no idea if this is gonna be zoomed in enough. Can I zoom in up here? Time will tell if that looks good. Time will tell. Oh, brother, brother, brother. We're going to do some Pokemon card unboxing. Then we're going to do some shiny hunting. Let's see how we're doing on our download over here. Of course, I didn't think about downloading Diamond until a little too late. So we'll see if shiny hunting does happen after all. We have an equal vote, which is funny. An exact perfect equals, as all things should be. I've got some tea brewing. Let me go get some of that. Twitch suicide over here. Oh my goodness. Not a vacant camera. Anything but that. Let's see. Let me pull this up real quick. Maybe. Oh boy. I'm telling you guys, I'm coming in on two wheels. Absolutely. One of those days. Absolutely one of those days. So I'm, I'm driving in from another town from another meeting for this one. But we're here. Switch download is going slowly but surely. We're somehow still managing to stream as it's downloading. Only dropping a bunch of frames at a time. We've got some delightful lemon zinger tea. Ooh, that's going to need a little sweetener. That's gonna be a little sweetener. Vacant camera again. Here we come. Vacant camera. Not an empty camera. Am I watching a Twitch stream or am I watching a ghost? Hang on, let me go get my, my giant book real quick. Oh, broadcaster, I was invisible for a second. I had my invisibility cloak on. NBD. NBD. I had to go. My tea was not quite sweet enough, so I needed just a little bit more sugar. Pog you, he arrived. That's, that's confusing. Never tried sweetening tea. I don't sweeten every tea. Sometimes there's a tea that just needs just a little. It's not much sugar in the raw. Just a little. Just a little. Bedazzle. A little bedazzle. Nothing too insane. So, folks, we got some Pokemon cards to unbox today. I found a trainer box of the Fusion Strike. How exciting is that? I couldn't believe I found this. This is the latest set, and the trainer box was just, was just staring at me. What's up, Pineapple Boat, by the way? And then I also found one of the few partner packs that I care about. The first partners. If you're unfamiliar with what these are, they're giant Pokemon cards, and they made them for all of the starters of all of the series so far. And they released them over the course of the months. This was the one for December. It was the last one 
and I managed to snag it. So I got my boys. My boys. And then I also got the Pikachu Special Collection Celebrations. And I'll, I'll show you why I got this. I will show you the exact reason why I got this box in particular when we unbox it. There's one reason why I bought this, and I'll show you. So that's it. And I actually have my giant Pokemon card book that we're going to put those in. Where I've got my giant my giant Pokemon card collection. That's just absurd. Why are the cards so big? Why are they so big? What am I going to do with these, huh? Not a thing. Anyway, I'm having some lemon zinger tea today. Let's see how, how my diamond download is coming. It's coming. It's coming. Not far along, but it's it's almost there. Pokemon Commander decks. That's the way to do it. They are they're absurdly they're absurdly large cards. So how are we doing today, folks? How's everybody's Monday treating them? An hour late. An hour late with a meeting. Let's see if I can drop a Pokemon GIF in there to let people know I'm live. Every single time, it is never what I expect it to be whenever I type that in. All right, I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is an inappropriate gift, but I just dropped it in the in the general. We'll see. It's definitely very silly, but I don't know if it's appropriate. It looks like um, Adele. It's got to be Adele. I think it's Adele's face superimposed <laughs> on Pokemon over and over again. <laughs> if you want to know what I'm talking about, join our Discord. <laughs> Exclamation point Discord to see that ridiculous gif right there. That's that's the tease. That's the tease I'll give you there. Hey, Stained Glass, what's up? And what's up, maybe 30 bats? I realized I never greeted you as well. How are we doing? I want to see how my camera looks here, too. Uh, let's see, Pokemon cards. Is this? Yeah, that's okay. That'll work. That'll do. That'll do. It's not great, but it'll work. Oh, how's everybody's Mondays? How are we feeling? What's going on? Having a pretty solid day. I have Sundays planned out through Transfiguration. Very nice. It's so nice to plan ahead. Uh, it hasn't worked very well with Checkpoint because we have to be so on top of the video game and anime and TV show release schedule. But at my previous setting, um, I was always three months ahead. Calling my way through the directory that afternoon. Now that's something I need to get better about with this community in particular. Expect to see more DMs from me in the future. That's all I'll say through my processes here. All right, let's get into it, huh? Let's unbox some Pokemon cards so that we have plenty of time to do some shiny hunting. Um, so we're going to start with the first partner pack because that's probably the one I'm the, the, the most excited to have actually found. So we'll get started with this one first, and I can show you the giant cards just like this. There's no real need because you know what they're going to be. It's the three starters. We got our three starter cards here right from the get-go. So we got this Bulbazar in particular, the Bulbazar with the classic bubble logo and design. And then we got, or excuse me, Squirtle. Then we got Bulbazar, Bulbazar with the, with the leech seed. Very nice look. And then we got the classic Charmander. Yeah, all the classics. Gotta love them. Got to love them. No hollows or anything with these. Just the standard cards that just go in the giant card pack. And then it also comes with two packs. And this time I got, it looks like, uh, an Evolving Skies and a Darkness Ablaze. Nice. So I for Bulbasaur that I couldn't even wait. I just had to say, Bulbasaur, I got a Bulbasaur. So nice. So we got two packs there. Darkness Ablaze and Evolving Skies. I have a feeling that's the only time we're going to get those. Uh, next up, let's see what my Elite Trainer Box comes with. You guys want to do that next? Because it comes with all this swag, and I'll show you guys the swag as we go through it. We'll go through all that stuff before we even do any of the unboxing of the actual cards, which I guess I could I could show you guys this. Let's see. Bow, bow. Yeah, there we go. That's how it looks. So this is the big box here. Yeah, see, this is way too big. That's the thing. And now you can see my lap. Everybody enjoy my lap there. Yeah. <laughs> Always worried I'm going to dox myself. Something's going to give here. That ought to do. Let's see. If we move this over a little bit. 
yeah, that'll do nicely. So this is the Elite Trainer Box that they gave us here, and we're going to go through that one. <laughs> Vuish gave me a nervous thumbs up. Very nervous. We'll go through this one. I love Mew, so this is a great box for me. I'm happy about the box in general. Mew is like one of my favorite Pokemon. So cute. Pink and purple. Two of my favorite colors. Two of the colors of my actual like YouTube career too. Because pink was the color of single player and now purple is the color of checkpoint. So this is my color scheme here. On the inside, it's got the, uh, the actual fusion. Whoa. It's got the actual fusion strike um, artwork. You can see that on the inside. So there's the Gengar, there's the Mew, there's the bug thing, <laughs> Boltund. So yeah, pretty cool. Maybe 30 bats, you said you just got your tickets to uh, Matrix Resurrection, very cool. I'm excited for whatever they're doing on Thursday with Matrix Resurrection. So then they give us a little player's guide. The player's guide is pretty handy to have if you've never gotten an, uh, an elite trainer box. My favorite part about the trainer's guide in particular is that it gives you a catalog of all of the cards in this particular set. So if you're a collector, you can go through and actually check off whenever you have each card. So you could technically do that. You could do that anyway, right? But it's nice to have it all in a catalog right in front of you. This is the actual box itself. Pretty slick. There you go. Pop the top off. Got the nice little divider in here that sorts everything out. We don't need any of that good action. Right here, it's got the rule book. I have like a ton of these rule books. If you want a rule book, you let me know. I'll hook you up. Love the rules. And then we got all of our Fusion Strike packs. So it's gonna come with eight from the get-go. So you get eight packs right off the bat that we'll add to our stack of packs over here. All right. And then it gave me a set of dice. These are my pink and purple dice, which I actually think I might start using because those are pretty stinking, pretty stinking sweet. Those might be some of my favorite dice that I've ever seen um, from one of these sets. That's real slick. You guys have got to, got to, got to go with me that that's pretty doggone slick. That's a nice color scheme. I'll hold these up to the fancier camera here so you guys can get a real look. What we're dealing with here, what we're working with, we got going on. Uh, maybe thirty bats. I'm contemplating my first movie back in theaters might be the Sword Art Online progressive that just dropped. Show you these 60, 60 here. Let's see if I can. Nope. Yeah. I mean, look at that. That is just that's that's good design right there. Purple, pink, and blue. Great color scheme. You'll love to see it. It comes with the burn and poison badges, which I barely ever use. It comes with a full deck of sixty sleeves with the Mew design on the back. And then it also comes with a bunch of energy cards. Just a ton of energy cards. So I also have too many of these. And then my favorite part, it always comes with little uh, dividers. And I love my little dividers. They're always handy. So pretty fun. Mine was House of Gucci. Interesting film. These are killer packs. Yeah, if you've never gotten an Elite Trainer set, this is what the Elite Trainer set. All of them come with the same thing, um, but obviously with a different color scheme, depending on the set in particular. All right, now to get the rest of our packs, we got to break into our celebrations kit here. So we're going to go ahead and get into celebrations and I'll show you guys the reason why I got this set. It's actually for a couple, ooh, I didn't know this. I love this yellow backing. What on earth? That's very fun. Oh, that's a very fun time. I didn't realize it came with this yellow backing. That's super neat. What a cool way to package something. Um, so it comes with this giant four-piece card that you put together like Exodia, which is the first thing that's pretty exciting. Pretty amped about that, to be totally honest. Oh, and then it also gave me a card for Professor Burnett on the back. Now that's the first time I've ever seen them do something like that. They gave me a Professor Burnett card. Maybe. That's interesting. But I wonder, how do you use this V Union stuff? I've never seen that before. Maybe that's just me being dumb, but I feel like I've never seen it. Yeah, Exodia. Straight up Exodia. Very weird. Pikachu V Union. 
All right, this is the reason that I got this. Are you guys ready for this? That's the one. I'm sure you're you're pointing out the one that I bought this for. And it's this bad boy right here. I bought this I bought this pack as soon as I saw this little boy right here. This little boy right here is the one that I was like I'm I'm going to need to have that. I need to have that in my life. So I bought it. Look at him. I mean, look at his little face. Look at his little tiny face. He's the best. And I do like the one squishing its cheeks as well. The squishing its cheeks is very funny. They're all so good. I'll, I'll give you a moment just to take in. The chin shadow is pretty great. Love it. Love it. So nice. So Pikachu, my boy, my giant card. Now let's see what cards they actually gave me in here. All right, so I got six packs of cards. Pretty standard par for the course with these with these sets, these jumbo cardboard sets. We got one, two, three, four celebrations, which come with four cards each, a Darkness Ablaze, and a Battle Styles. So that brings us to two of the Darkness Ablaze, Evolving Skies, four celebrations, and eight Fusion Strike. So how should we go through these? I think we should... Here's going to be my proposal, all right? These four are all kind of the same rareness. So I say we bundle these four together. Whoop, whoop. I say we bundle these four together with the four celebrations and do a celebration in between each one. <clears throat> and then we do a fusion strike every other one. So we do one from this pile, one from this pile, one from this pile, one from this pile. And we'll just go back and forth, figure in all that good stuff out until we get through these 16 packs of cards. How's that sound to you guys? I think that sounds pretty fun. Sound like a good time? I'm just zoom back in. I think we don't need quite that much camera at this point. So we're going to start with the battle styles, and then we're going to go to Fusion Strike. Gooch, cool. All right. Let's start with our battle styles here. See what we got in here. Hoping for some rainbows. Out of 16 cards, surely I have some rainbows. Have to. Have to. Out of this many? This many? How could I not? All right. One, two, three to the front. Let's go for it. All right. The first pack, Battle Styles. We got our boy Bruno. Mustard. More Peko being made. A made little more Peko. Cute. Pawnyard. Houndor. Ooh, I like that Houndor. Shinx. Gliger. Oh, Gliger's a sweet card. Spoink. Spoink's so happy to be there. Ooh, a reverse hollow Cubone. I like it. I like it. And then Rainbow Rare. No. Hollow Cherum. Very cool. Great start. Great start. Love that Cubone. Big fan of Cubone. Now we're going to go to our first celebration. Oh, no. Excuse me. We're going to go to our first fusion pack. Fusion! Ha! Matrix Resurrections. Ooh, it sounds like I just downloaded Pokemon Diamond. So that means we're good to go on the shiny hunt. If that's what people are wanting. If you guys don't want that, let me know. All right. Fusions to the front. Start now with Eldegoss. Pukimuku. Power Tablet. Phantom. Snorlax. I like that. Snorlax! Snom. Ooh, a little Fusion Strike Dreepy. Makuhita. And last but not least. Nope. Wait, no, I have two more. Reverse Hollow Victini. And then Rainbow Rare. Corviknight. Sweet Corviknight, but not the one that I was expecting. No rainbow rares yet. Two packs down. Two packs down. That's all right. That's all right. Next up is our celebrations pack. So remember, this is the one where we kept getting the same legendaries over and over and over. Not too long ago. Here we go. Let's get into it. Celebrations. I feel a celebration coming on. I watch too many children's programs. We're just going to do these in order because I never know how, how these work now. 
Let's see. Hello, Side Elmo. What's up? How are we doing? Ho uh oh. Very fun. How are we doing, H Man? How are we doing, Side Elmo? Side Elmo. Side Elmo. Xerneas. Oh, -ho! very cool. I don't even know what this particular level of rarity refers to. But this is a super cool card regardless. Look at that. That is very fancy looking Zekrom. Very nice. Very nice. I wish I knew what that meant, but I'm definitely going to set it aside, whatever it means. It's not a rainbow. And then Solgaleo with Lily in the background. All right. Next up, Evolving Skies, our, our second. Second Evolving Skies, I think. No, wait, we need a Fusion Strike. Oh my goodness, you guys. I keep forgetting to do Fusion Strike. Oh, this is rough. This is rough. We got Gengar, my favorite, my boy, my Gengar, my best friend. Let's see what we got going on in here. All right. I am ready for this, by the way. I'm ready for Pokemon Live. When is it, when is it going to enter my life? They keep saying, go play now. Well, bring, give me it. Give me it and I'll play. I don't know when they're going to give it to me. All right. Cook. Quick ball. Morgrim. Makuhita. Panpour. Mawile. Gossifleu. Mudcap. Reverse Grand Ball and a rainbow. No. Leovani. I don't even know who Leovani is. Leovani, you're breaking my heart. All right. Next up is Evolving Skies. Let's go for it. We got to get some rainbows. I'm going to need some rainbows. That fancy looking Zekrom was very fun, but I'm going to need more than just that. In the meantime, are any of you out there that are watching? Are you playing Pokemon? Are you doing anything with Pokemon right now? Are you still in Unite? Are you Diamond Pearl? Boish, have you gotten the game yet? Are you still just enjoying Dread? All right. Here we go. Rayhan. Avalug. Vigoroth. Lilipup. Bagon. Litleo. Just found my first shiny. Pineapple Pup, I'm so jealous! I've been trying so hard for a shiny and I can't I can't get the chain to go. Teddy Ursa. Scrafty. Rainbow Rare. No, but a Rayquaza V is very fun. I'll go ahead and set that one to the side. Very nice. Very nice. Just trying to find a way to not go to Johnson City for Nightmare Alley. You got this. You got it. You don't have to. Or you do. I'm hoping to find my first shiny on stream today, Pineapple Pope. I can't believe it. I've been hunting for days. I cannot get my chain to go through. I'll teach you guys how to do a chain and hopefully do it right. Show you guys the tips. Tips and tricks that I've learned. And maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong. A Bidoof. Yeah, it could, it could help if I would go for someone that's a little bit more, you know, small fry. I keep going for big ones. Breloom. Cross Switcher. Garbador. Choodle. Shroomish. Clef Key. Trubbish. Oh, that's the cutest Totodile I've ever seen in my entire life. The Totodile art's amazing. Landorus and Dragapult. Man, we are we are we are making headway through these packs and still no rainbows. Barely any rares at all, in fact. For some reason spelled that with an oof. That's alright. I know what you meant. Let's see. I feel like I've messed up. I got five packs left here and four packs. We need another fusion strike. I messed up on my account somewhere along the way. We're going to do another another fusion strike here. H-Man, how are you enjoying Akadama Drive? Oh, no. I was making a joke about it being kind of an oof Pokemon. No, I know what you meant. I got you a bit doof. Oof, man. I knew what both of you meant. Both of you meant. Graveler, giving the punch. This is the same one I showed earlier that it actually has a little motion blur on the punch, which I think is really interesting. They would do that. Musharna. Heatmore. 
Carvana. Clam Pearl. I like it. it. Reminds me a lot of Fate Stay. I'll have to look into Fate Stay because I really enjoy. I really enjoy Dakodama Drive. Oops. Skarmory and Shelmet. I actually needed to it once there. Beware. And last but not least, Oricorio. That is a pretty that's a pretty sweet card. Oricorio is pretty nice. I've watched five episodes while at work today. Oh man, it'll get you. It'll get you. Anime, colon. It'll get you. I'm sure I would like it too. My big thing with Fate Stay is I've always wondered if I should um, uh, play the visual novel. I've always I've always felt like I, I should play the visual novel instead of watching the anime. Time will tell. Time will tell. All right, another celebrations pack here. We got Groudon. Kyogre. Xerneas. And Zacian V. Very nice. Just watch the show, you say? Wait, are we talking about Unlimited Blade Works? Is that, is that Fate Stay? Is that a Fate Stay reference? Maybe 30 bat? I'm not sure I'm picking up what you're putting down there. Now the Fusion Strike. We got, we got three left of each. We got six packs left. We are over halfway through. We've gotten barely any rares. Yikesters. Maybe that's why it was so easy to find these cards. They'd already been picked through by scalpers. One, two, three to the front. Here we go. Farewell, Bill. It's not often you start with the trainer. That is one of the single funniest pieces of dialogue in all of an anime. That sub is a requirement. Oh, I can't do it, you guys. How do you have the time to watch sub shows? How do you have the time? Boom, boom, you know. Choodle. Vullaby. Dewpider. Meowth. I have one show that I'm watching uh, subbed right now. Um, Platinum End, and it is a slog. It is a slog to get through. Muna. Elvidal. This is bad. This is very bad. I ain't got nothing. Ain't got nothing. At the end, there's a piece of dialogue from the Book of Common Prayer. That is amazing. Which says random, but I got a new espresso machine for home, and it's been the most productive day. I believe it. That sounds like a productive day. I've gotten my count off again. Have I done two fusion strikes in a row? I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind, folks. One, two, three to the front. We're going to do a celebrations next. That is pretty nice. I would love an espresso machine. I actually still want my fancy. I want my fancy bougie coffee for Christmas. I don't know if anybody's going to get it for me. Parasect. Hiding energy. Fletchender. Larvitar. Very nice. I tried to get a Larvitar shiny the other day, and it did not go well. Did not go well. Paris, Bunnelby, Meltan, Snubble, Snubble, Carnivine, Rainbow Rare. No! No! This is going awful. Oh, my goodness. This may be the worst, um, the worst pulls I've ever gotten. Oh, my goodness. What a boring round. You guys are troopers for sticking it out. All right. First up, Groudon. Palkia. Ilvatol. Hey, Chonky Pikachu. Oh, I got the full art Chonky Pikachu. That's super cool. That's a great find. That makes it all worth it. I love the Chonky Pikachu full art. That's beautiful. Oh, and do you see Caterpies peeking in the background? You guys see him peeking? You see that little Caterpie just peeking? Oh, and Parasect is also peeking in the back there. What? Who's up there? There's somebody else peeking up behind Pikachu. Butterfree! Ah! That's so fun. Chonky Pikachu is a great catch. Makes it almost worth it. But I'll be happy if I get a Rainbow Ray on one of these last four, five packs here. All right. Fusion Strike. Now, Bleach, you actually know coffee. You're like a, you're a coffee connoisseur. You're a sommelier. You're someone that uh, has pressed some beans. You know that bean life. Fusion Strike. Simisage. Sydney. Battle VIP Pass. Jinx. Mantine. Grubbin. 
Ooh, I like that Smeargle. Rotom. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? Heliosk. Electros and a rainbow. Oh, no, wait, that was. <laughs> oh, no. Ah! This is going so poorly. I got four packs left. All right, Darkness Ablaze. Love the continued spite to Rotom to this day. Nobody likes a Rotom. Rotom. One, two, three to the front. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. This is the one. Rainbow Rare. It's happening. This is the round. Dad Dartrix. Dad Tricks. Lunatone. Semipore. Skarmory. Gothita. Paris. Mareep. Ducklet. I love that ducklet. Darkrai. And then a Rainbow Rare. Oh, Salamence V. Oh, boy. Well, at least it's a V. Ah! Three packs left. Two more fusion strikes and one more celebrations. Here we go. Second to last fusion strike. Hopefully we'll have better luck shiny hunting. If we have no luck shiny hunting either, then... I don't know. I'm glad I didn't play the lottery today. All right, first up is Gliscor. Very cool Pokemon. Mandibuzz. Ninetales. Cuffon. Gligar. Ooh, I got Gligar and Gliscor in the same pack. That's pretty cool. Slugma. Skitty. Phalanx. Periscuta and a Rainbow Rare. Sandaconda V. Oh, why is Sandaconda next to a radiator? Why is he next to a radiator? Uh, why? We literally have one more pack. We have one more pack. We have celebrations, which won't have anything rainbow rare. And then we have the final fusion strike with Mew on it. Dude, dude. Pineapple Pope. It, it is. It's difficult. This game has pretty difficult shiny odds. Uh, my favorite shiny hunting game so far has been uh, Let's Go. Let's Go was very fun and very easy. And I liked the ease. Palkia. Dialga. Oh, cool. Reverse Hollow Blastoise. Oh, no, that's very fun. That's very... I've gotten some fun Pikachus today. A flying Pikachu VMAX. I got the air, the hot air balloon Pikachu, if it'll focus. That's super fun. So I got Chonky Pikachu and Wide Pikachu. That's pretty fun. Oh, it's pretty fun. All right. Fix your attitude, Nathan. Fix your attitude for the last one. I need to fix my attitude for Fusion Strike. Fix it. Get it together. Get it together. Last one. This is it. This is all she wrote, folks. My super mega haul. One, two, three to the front. Thick and wide. All the good versions of Pikachu. Oh, my. Oh, me, oh, my. Skaters Park. He was a skater boy. Marsh Stomp. Cross Seaver. Wooloo. Gossifler. Mudkip, Seawaddle, Skarmory, Impidimp, and last but not least, Latias. No! Not a single Rainbow Rare, not even a gold, not even a anything, just a bunch of Vs. Oh my goodness. Well, at least we got this pretty cool looking Zekrom, even though I don't know what that means. Watch it be worth like a thousand dollars man let's find out more about the skate park let's see if there's anything about the skate park whenever either pokemon's active pokemon retreats whenever either player's active pokemon retreats put any basic energy that would be discarded into their hand instead of the discard pile so it's a it's a, a place that you can battle 
a location, as it were. Bummer, my dudes. Not the most exciting day. But now, now we're going to find us some shiny Pokemons. Hopefully. Hopefully we're going to find us some shiny Pokemons. We're going to try for some shiny Pokemons. Let me get plugged in real fast. Let's get this party started. Show the Zekrom card again. It's this, this Zekrom card right here. Uh, you can barely even see it. It's so epic. So epic. It's pretty cool. It's a very cool card regardless. Watch it be like the one, the one that was made on planet Earth. Wow, 175. That's pretty impressive. That is pretty rare. So that was our rare card of the day. Oh, of course. This is my luck. This is my luck. <laughs> oh, no. Well, while we're here, how was everybody's how was everybody's weekend? Others are selling it for $6.99. Well, this $1.75 sounds better. All right. So I think I've got to transfer my file. Because I want to play on my file. We'll see if this works. I hope I don't lose everything. Is it possible that I could lose everything? It feels very possible that I could lose everything. Hopefully not. It sure did start, didn't it? <laughs> sure did start, huh? I feel like normally it asks if I want to transfer or something. Did I just make a oopsie? If I have to play through the entire game of Pokemon again, I'm going to lose my mind. Did it really reset it? Why? Let's see if I can't figure this out. But why would it do that? Transfer. Oh, no. But I'm not near my other console. Is it not going to work? Well, if it reset it, it's not that big of a deal. It is disappointing. <sighs> Why does the Switch have to be so difficult, dude? Does not support backup via the save. Well, there you go. It either erased it or it's saving it here. Well, I'll let you guys know over on the Discord. <laughs> if you guys want to join the Discord, I'll let you know if I lost everything. So much for shiny hunting. In all serious, Nintendo really is the worst at their online access. I will let you guys know. I guess I'll remember to bring my Switch next time. Or we'll just wait and shiny hunt in this game. I doubt that, man. Shiny hunting is a slog. It's a real slog. I don't know if I feel like playing the whole, the whole game and then also shiny hunting again. But we're going to continue on our journey. For sure. All right, so we were just in the middle of our, of our fight with Cheryl here. And I don't remember what, what exactly has gone on so far. Let's see. Moderation's probably fine in the forefront. Burr would all, also Burr would also be good in the front. It's a good team. It's a good squad. Pretty good squad. So how was everyone's weekend? What'd you do? Anything interesting happen over the weekend? I had a very, very slow and boring weekend, and it was delightful. Especially how, how after how rough my last half of the weekend went. The last half of the last week was a nightmare. Well, I don't have a Baneri. 
So maybe I should try for a Baneri. Hung lots of Christmas lights and decorations. That's very fun. That's super fun. Man. I'm so bummed. I really wanted to shiny hunt. I was super excited about it. My luck today, friends. My luck today. The fact that I got no good cards. And then also my shiny thing didn't work. I worked and so did the missus. Felt like we didn't really have a weekend. That's always the worst. Such is the life of a pastor, I suppose. Weekend always flies by. If you don't have your Sunday. I actually need to get in touch with the good folks of um, Methodist Gaming. We've got something in the near future that we got to figure out. All right, Baneri. I'm going to try to catch up. I don't have a friendship ball, though. That would be much nicer if I had a friendship ball. But I don't. Everybody come up with a name for Baneri, assuming we catch it. Baneri's data will be out of the Pokedex. When it senses danger, it perks up its ears on cold nights. It sleeps with its head tucked into its fur. Would you like to give Baneri a name? Yeah. What do we want to name our good friend Baneri here? What do we got? First thing I see in the chat is the name of said Baneri. Fred! Was it a boy? It is a boy. A boy Baneri. Uh, are we adding it to our party or are we sending it to a box? You guys hear like walking in the background? Oh, I think it was Zubat's wings. <laughs> I think it was Zubat's, Zubat's wings flopping. That's hilarious. Oh, I don't have a Cascoon either. Oh, I mean, interesting. Worked on, on Christmas lights. All that good stuff. I don't know if stained glass is still out there. Stained glass, have you made it much further in Pokemon? How, how much farther have you made it? What gym are you on? I'm trying to remember what console I recently was able to do that in. I recently was able to open a open a game with the same same file save file in a different console, and it wasn't a problem. I don't remember what it was. I'm a little past gym seven. Didn't upload my victory pick. Rock on. You're so close. No, it was on. It was on Switch. I know. Obviously, Xbox does that better. Much better. But there was something the other day that I was able to do that on Switch, and I don't remember what game it was. Let's see if we can catch this Caspian. Caspian evolves into Beautifly, I believe. Is that correct? Silcoon evolves into Duskox. I I R C. <laughs> I forgot about Bleachel. <laughs> Bleachel! I love it. All right, what's the name of Caskin? In case within his tough cocoon, it appears it endures attacks. It never forgets the appearance of its foes. Would you like to give Casca a name? Yeah. Your name's Daphne. A boy. It's a boy named Daphne. I can dig it. Are you going through the Scooby-Doo game? Sending it to a box or adding it to our party? What are we feeling? What are we feeling? Box. Are you going to send the whole mystery gang into the box? Somebody put Scooby-Doo in the box. 
Does any, do any of you guys have a Casey Kasem? They may have a Casey Kasem impression in their back pocket. That's one I can't do, but I've always wanted to. Bob Ross. Music started over there. That was pretty rad. All right, Rachel and what was it? On? Oh, Cody. Rachelle and Cody. I need some more tea. I need some more tea, but I don't feel like getting up. Plus, I don't want to force you guys to entertain the uh, audience. Anybody new that might join us. I heard the Taco Bell gong in the background. Did I miss last time? Is that what happened? That was the new character in Unite. I haven't played as them again. Zando, bad news. Bad news, Zando. No shinies because uh, it didn't let me upload my file. So I may have wiped my game on my other Switch. It's very possible that I wipe my game on my other Switch. It's incredibly possible that I wiped it. Uh-oh. Yep. We'll see. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, man! Oh, man! Not the Taco Bell gong! The Taco Bell... The Taco Bell bell killed my moderation. Hmm, that's more relatable than I thought it was going to be, as I actually was saying it. It, was more, it became relatable as I said it. Of all the things that's going to mess up my moderation, it would be Taco Bell. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one. You gotta be fair, Taco Bell messes up my moderation pretty well too, right? It's all of us. Who can stay? Ooh! Killing my Chansey? Does Cheryl have any other Pokemans? She do not. She do not have any other Pokemans. All right. Well, this is this just got a little more real. Such a good playlist. Pokemon music really is just some of the best out there. Pa pow! Pa! I'm sad I can't go shiny hunting. I was really looking forward to it. Started reading something that's killing the children. I'm super excited for the TV show. Where's the TV show coming? I don't think I've heard about that. Last time we had Taco Bell, I asked my wife to grab a few extra tacos in case I was uh, TB bottomless pit. She simply responded with, oh, I know. I got a feast for us. So you just got to do that Taco Bell box. Combo number 10, my friend. Just got to do combo number 10. Coming to Netflix. Nice. It'll be good then, I'm sure. If it's on Netflix, it's going to be good. Now, what's nice about this, this is actually a great area if you want to grind, do some early Pokemon grinding because Cheryl will continue to heal your Pokemon, and so you can just go through here and just grind. Or if you want to shiny hunt, speaking of. We could we could technically shiny hunt if you guys wanted to here, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> I also don't really want to grind right now. But you can, um, you can just continue to take these guys down one at a time. And she will just keep on healing. Mike Flanagan! You had... What is it? You had my respect, but now you have my attention. Try to catch that worm. Oh. Who is Trevor Macy? What is Trevor Macy behind? I definitely know Mike Flanagan. Something is killing the children, and it is Taco Bell. Very nice perspective. Solid. Solid one-two punch right there. Ooh, I like String Shot's new animation. That was nice. So, if, since we're in double battles, you technically double your odds of encountering a shiny. But the odds are 4,096. So, you technically go, what is that? What's half of 4,096? 2,048. You half your odds, one out of every 2,048 encounters. So, we'd only have to have 2,048 battles. <laughs> That's it. NBD. I'm still curious about Trevor Macy. Does anybody know what Trevor Macy is from? Who is Trevor Macy? Produces. Oh, okay. So just a, just a partner. 
in that kind of quirk. I'm definitely gonna need more tea. Definitely gonna be needing some more tea. I might need my mood boosting tea now. <laughs> after after I've been disappointed twice now. I did most of the grinding in the underground. The underground is also a good a good place to do some um, do some grinding and shiny hunting both. That will probably be what makes me the most sad if I um if I do have my other game wiped is that I finally had my national decks. If I had to do all that again, I'm gonna be upset. Plus all my names. I hope I didn't wipe it. I don't think I did. I might have. I hope I didn't. It would be good news for you guys, though, because if I did wipe it, odds are I'd probably start playing Minecraft again. Because I'm going to get mad and I'm going to rage quit. I have inspiration right now. I really want to build a mountain house in Minecraft. I want to find the, the highest peak in the game. So what happened to RE Shiny Hunting, Perspectus? I tried to open my um, personal my personal file through Diamond here, which has worked in the past for other games. But it didn't work. Instead, it reset the game. And so hopefully it just saved a new reset locally. Um, do you guys want to give Wormple a name here? Is it Velma? What's your next name? What's your next name here, H-Man? Let's hollow out a mountain. It would just be right on top, Velma. That's what I figured. A boy named Velma and a boy named da a boy named Daphne. And I imagine we're sending it to the box. Um, so anyway, I may very well have reset my uh, game file. Not necessarily. I might not have. In fact, odds are I didn't because it saves locally. And save data online isn't even a thing in this game. So the odds are in our favor. But they're not very far in our favor. Because that will happen in Animal Crossing. In Animal Crossing, if you try to open up the game on another on another Switch, it will erase your game. Your island will be gone forever. Which is very sad. I don't know why the Switch has to just... I don't know why Nintendo has to insist on making the online experience as miserable as possible. They've never done it very well. Oh, well. If I lose it all, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. Shall get over it. I think the biggest disappointment is that I was just so excited to show you guys Shiny Hunt. Because I don't know how many of you know how to Shiny Hunt. I know especially Stained Glass probably doesn't know how to Shiny Hunt. Since this is his first Pokemon. I'll hollow out the mountain below. Let's see... Don't even know what it is. It's very fun. Have no clue. Grind until you find. No, it's better. So this game has. Um, well, I would I would show you guys again. I would love to show you the experience. Basically, you um, you chain in this game. Thank you, Cheryl, for guiding me through the forest. Um, so you would catch multiples in a row, and they actually have something called a radar where it shakes little like um, tufts of grass. And you go to the specific tuft of grass, and as you go there, you continue to chain it one after the other. The higher your chain gets, the higher your odds get. Um, and when you get to a chain of one, if you get when you get to a chain of forty, um, that's when things get good, and you have a one in ninety-nine chance of finding a chain. And so you can just go back and forth, back and forth with your poker radar, which does four at a time, and um, eventually, twenty-five times, you know, at the very late latest, you will find it. You have a 1 in 25 chances of finding it. Or like 24.4, I guess. 24.125. 24.25. There we go. I can math. I can math. Yay. 
It's actually a really fun system and really interesting. And it would have been great to show you guys. Would have been really fun to show you. So much for that. The big bummer with this one is that um, it really doesn't matter what you do. There is, there's nothing really too helpful about utilizing the shiny charm. First shiny was a Voltorb. That's an exciting one. It's blue. That's a big one. It's a great shiny to find. I don't know what my first shiny was. I think it might have been a Rapidash, which is equally exciting because it's a blue. I had plenty of shinies on my Let's Go. What I should have done was just bring my Switch and put it in the dock. That's where I went wrong. Why did I try to go with this 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 Switch? I should have just bought my own. Pretty much every game since then, I randomly come across one shiny when I casually go through the stories. I'd be thrilled to come find a shiny on a random story. I'd be amazed. I don't think it's going to happen. The odds are against us. If you have it happen to you every time you play through a journey, then you are um, you're incredibly lucky. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for Shinx. No, I'm not. I'll stick it out with moderation. I'll moderate with moderation here. Moderation stays until the end or we all leave. I'm fine with keeping moderation out. I love um Crobat. Crobat's on my on my on my actual team in my main game. Or at least it was. Unless I lost it all! All things in automation on moderation, we all stay in moderation. You quoting Full Model Alchemist over there? Pretty sure that's something that they would say in the uh, in between world there. Not, not exactly. I just there's one particular frame in Fullmetal Alchemist that I always go back to and think about, and it's the first time they meet. You've not watched FMA Perspectus? We have bigger deals to talk about. How have you not seen Fullmetal Alchemist? It's a gem. It's an absolute gem. It's like my favorite. It's timeless. My timeless favorite. We gotta get you to watch it. I think you would love it. You finally watched Death Note? Death Note is also a gem. Death Note is also a timeless gem. Weep status revoked. Taking it away. Weep, weep card is gone. really gonna need more tea. More tea is gonna have to happen soon. Uh, by the way, tomorrow we're gonna play the, the the final the final part of our um, of our Games for Impact series. We're gonna play Boyfriend Dungeon. Because that's the last one I haven't played. In black and white, I randomly found a shiny Sudowoodo. X and Y gave me a shiny Wismer. Sun and Moon gave me an Alo uh, was an Alolan Radicate and a Alolan Shiny Radicate. Sword and Shield might not have been a random encounter. I actually don't remember my first shiny. I don't know if I have a shiny in Sword and Shield, to be honest. I have to. I have to have at least one shiny in Sword and Shield. I don't know, and I'm sure not going to check. I did hatch over 900 eggs to get a shiny Impidimp. I hatched a lot of eggs, but that wasn't for shinies. That was for... Well, maybe it was then. Why else would I have hatched eggs? Yeah, I did the Masuda method for sure. That's where the shiny charm actually helps in this game. The only place that the shiny charm affects anything is in the Masuda method. Everywhere else, the shiny charm means nothing. Nothing! Then I started farming slash time traveling to raids for shiny Pokemon. I got a bunch that way. Oh, I never did that. I don't time travel. I don't time travel in just about anything. I don't time travel in Animal Crossing. I don't, I'm just not... I don't know. I never got into that. 
Nate, why aren't you shiny hunting? Ah! Uh! Ah! Don't remind me. I'm sad. I'm sad. I'd so much rather be shiny hunting right now. I was so excited for it. It's all I thought about all day. I mean, I could theoretically be, be home and back in 10 minutes, but I don't I don't feel like I can leave the stream for something. It would probably be a no-no. I normally don't either. I had a crew that was doing it, so I felt bad mooching off all their hard work. I fully intend on, once I do some shiny hunting, mooching for you guys. I'm going to give you guys some shinies. Because once you reach 40 chain, you technically can just keep getting shinies again and again. If it makes you feel any better, you could be playing League. That's a great point. I did start... Um, don't let this leave this this stream. But we might be talking about Arcane in an upcoming sermon. And so I was doing research, and I started reading about all the different um, League champions, and that was pretty fun. They do, they do have a good... They have a great world. They have very interesting stuff to work on. I wish I liked the I wish I wish liked the game and the community better. And that's the thing, right? I, I often give the community a really hard time, but the truth is is that the, the game behind League is just kind of okay. What's up, everyone? What's up, Out of Sense? How was your weekend? H-Man, no, keep it on the down low. Don't scream it to the heavens. Don't you dare. But yes, that may have been the reason that I asked in the Riot group if that was all the champions. I love the game. It's way too addicting. And I get that. I get that. But I like it's not the game style for me, I guess I should say. It's not that it's a bad game style. Like, even Unite, I think, has started to lose some of its luster because the gameplay is getting on my nerves. You also hate the game. You love to hate the game. That's kind of how I feel about shiny hunting as well. Man, it's even in the it's even in the in the in the chat and everything, isn't it? It's in the title. It says shiny hunting. Oh, bummer. Big bummer. Hey, what? We're just clearing out my absorb here, aren't we? So many magic arps. I know, I've, I know I've heard from Weesh and I've heard from H-Man, but out of sense, stained glass, Zando, anybody else that's in the chat? Pineapple, how were your weekends? Pineapple Pope in specific. I don't know if uh, Sis Pineapple is here. And Pineapple Pope may not still be here as well. No felon. There's no felon. People. Come, on. Come on, get away. We'll pick all the berries here. Has anyone played Scarlet Nex Nexus? I played the tutorial. Check the prayer request and you'll get a sense for me. Oh, yes. I will check that. Not bad. Lazy, says Pineapple Pope. How does sense has mine went by so quick? I'm not sure it really happened. It sounds like it's kind of how HBN's went. Flew by. Um, yes, I played Scarlet Nexus, HBN. It's pretty fun. It's hack and slash. Xando says, weekend was good. Had some good times with the kids just playing. Ben is at a good age for baby playing. That is so fun. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for all that stuff again. The good days are good. The good days are good. HBN will learn that soon. There are definitely like time time periods where babies are especially fun and time periods where they're not as fun. We did um we did all of our laundry over the weekend for uh the new baby. It has an anime. If that's good, I might try it out. I imagine the anime's gotta be good because the story was pretty compelling. The story was pretty compelling. And I like the characters and the art. Looking for games you can pause, right? That's a mood. That's absolutely a mood. Out of sense. It's been a long stream, out of sense. It's been a long stream. That's all I'll say. We may have reset my main game. But this is the check. This is the check game that we're playing now. We are not doing shiny hunting. Because I tried to pull up my game file, and the Switch does not communicate with my other Switch. That's what we get for having a checkpoint shirt switch. If we just had my own personal switch, it wouldn't be a problem. 
I'm gonna talk to everybody to make sure they don't need, need anything for me. Friendship checker! I'll never use that! This is where I get the underground. You guys want to see the underground? That's pretty fun. Let's do it! Oh, he's got to show me. Is he going to take me on a tour and everything? I'm gonna go make tea. I'm gonna go make tea while this is going on. Just keep guys. Oh no! Okay, he's doing it for me. Rourke! Rourke! How shiny are your badges looking, Addisense? Hilarious! Hilarious! You're a riot! There might be none of them waiting on me at home. Just paid Hillsong $250 for a song. I kind of feel like I need a bath now. What? A what? For what? For why? For what reason would that be happening? Wanna try digging? Sure. What's funny about that? I was serious. $250 licensing to Hillsong? Are Hillsong songs not a part of, uh, 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 what is it called? CCLI? I feel like Hillsong would be CCLI, but I guess, I guess you have to license it necessarily. That's not, a, that's just playing it for your congregation, putting it in a video. It, it's gotta be CCLI. That has to just be video licensing, right? Video licensing is just different from performance license. And I can stream it. Well, not anymore. I, I let our CCLI. Do you guys know that we have it? We had a CCLI. Uh, originally with Checkpoint, I planned on... Um, I planned on playing music. So stream licensing and video licensing are completely different. What a mess. What a mess. The joy of the music industry. This is why I just wrote music. You play in and Twitch said nope. Exactly. That's exactly it. I would have been able to do it with CCLI. It was technically legal. Technically. Because they gave me the streaming license. Altaria, nice. So this is how the underground looks. This is how you do it. Barely remember this underground. This was my stuff, man. This is what I did in Diamond. I was in the underground most of the time. Let me go put my tea on. Five minutes starting now, 312, 3.13. H man, Animon went great. We missed ya. I gotta I gotta type out a synopsis for the Animon channel. Though this is a good time to mention it for anybody present. Um so with the with the first arc ending, I'm gonna give people an op to like maybe this isn't the right time for you to continue playing, so if you want to hop out, um, that's all good. And if you want to hop in then I will uh, open up the open up the game for people to come in because it's a natural a natural place where people can exit. Hmm. Unlucky. Um, no, maybe thirty bass was also missing. Oh, there it was. And yeah, Splash had to duck out. So it wound up just being the three. And they had they had quite the time with Firewall. At first, they were absolutely annihilating Firewall, and then I had to throw four bites at them, and that made it a little bit better, a little bit more even of a fight. Oh, I can show you guys. I, I realized I just was doing that without explaining it. Let me take you to an example of what's going on. 
So this is a this is a place in Diamond and Pearl where you can actually go hunting for stuff. Martin Bold's playing Pearl. That's fine. Martin Bold's in the community. Martin Bold's over on the Discord. Very fun. Let's go up here. Show you what I'm doing. So um, in this game, you're actually able to look for like stones and um, stuff that goes on with D-pad. Uh, I'm not using the D-pad now. You can. You can use the D-pad and get more precise. So you have two options. You have the pickaxe and the hammer. Um, the hammer does wide but shallow. The pickaxe does uh, does precise but harder. So like for instance, right? These are the these are thin rocks. These are thick rocks. So if I hit this place right here, I'll probably I probably won't get down to the to the surface, but I'll get very close. Um, whereas with this, I'll probably just hit down one layer at a time. So this is going to hit the area in the center, and then one up, one left, one right, one down, and then around that it's going to do one. So it's like everything has like levels. So watch right here. This is like the third level. So if I hit it once. This, this took it to level one, level two, right? All these are on level two now. This is on like a level two and a half, I guess. Hit it again, and it's going to take me to the surface, so I'll be able to see what's underneath. So this is, the, this is as low as it gets, and I don't see anything. So I know that it's not going to be either of these spots. So I'll probably go down here. Well, actually, the, the way I would do this is these are the shallow ones, so I'll get one hit wonders here so I can actually check and see what's around. But if you hit that, that means you hit a rock, and that takes um, all of your effect away, your AoE away, and makes you only hit that one spot, which is kind of a bummer. There we go, so there we go. I see something in the corner, I want that. It looks like a small sphere, so I'm gonna whack right there, and I got it. The pickaxe, for instance, like I just did, only took away that one square, so it didn't do as much damage. And when you're done, is either when you find all the things that are hiding, or whenever that crack at the top of the screen gets all the way to the left. Whichever one of those happens first. So your goal is to not do what I just did and to somehow find the right spots at the right times before you end up running out of, of uh, whacking ability. Maybe over here. I feel like... No! Where would it be? I wonder what it... Oh, there it is. It's right there. Oh, it's a big one. Shoot, I should have been doing the big one. This is gonna be this is gonna be bad. I might lose. Yikesters. Pulled it off. Pulled it off. Alright. It is 312. Not quite there yet. One more minute. One more minute on the on the T. Unamas. I did it! So all these spheres you can trade and sell for things later in the game. But you can also find I'd like to find a stone. You can also find like dusk stone, dawn stone, fire, um, electric stone, just all that kind of stuff. Does the Diglett counter do anything? It does, Pineapple Pope. Great question. Would you like to know what it does? So there are 40. I'll show everybody. There are 40 for Eevee or for other Pokemon. Yeah. There are 40 Diglets around the underground. When you get 40, you have four minutes. And during those four minutes, there's going to be elevated, shiny discovery in the rooms. Right now, obviously, right, no shinies can really be discovered because I haven't discovered the national decks. But what I can discover is shiny statues. So have you seen those statues that I found so far? Man! Yeah, no way. Wasn't going to be able to get that one. Let me get my tea. Tea time! Second dose is there. Xando's also got a gotcha ball. No, not with my fresh tea. Not with my fresh tea, Xando. Let's hope it's not a bean. I'm actually worried it's going to be the other Dragon Ball, and I'm actually going to have to come up with something, some kind of wish from Shenron. I'm a little anxious about it. As I still don't know what I want to do with that. I just want to do something big. totally going to be the Dragon Ball. It's totally going to be the Dragon Ball. No! It wasn't! It was a little tiny piece of paper! It's probably going to be community points or something. Right, 
Let's find out what it is. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Reverse, reverse. I have to play with the controller upside down for five minutes. Delightful. Um, okay, Google, start a five-minute timer. Okay, Google, start a five-minute timer. Okay, it did four minutes. We'll just go a little longer past that. All right, let's see if I can figure out how to do this upside down. This is going to be very challenging, but we got this. There we go. I got a stone plate. So stone plate is going to boost up my um, stone moves. Uh, let's see. This is going to be so slow. Agon oh, one more gotcha. Did I miss it? You got it. You got it. Do I need to pause the pause the timer? You probably are getting that Dragon Ball. You are very likely going to get that Dragon Ball. Because it's in the receiver. You got it. It's happening. It's happening. It's going the wrong way. It's going the wrong way. The Dragon Ball's going the other way. Oh, no. The Dragon Ball's coming soon, though. It's in there. It is in the receiver. Oh, a page from my book. All right. Let's see. We'll take it over here while we um, read a page out of the book here. We need some kind of moody music here. Let's Let's play something contemplative. Um, that'll do. That'll do. All right, we need Arn Jesus. 1 to 191. 1 to 191. First page is 19. Ooh, that's early. That's early book. Set my warm tea before it gets cold. Well, this is a good tea. This is a good book to read tea, too. All right. <clears throat> my sharp Let's go ahead and um, mark off this page. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you a page from the Mirror Mural presented without any context. This is page 19. It's from chapter four entitled A Fight with a knight. <clears throat> Davis opened his eyes in shock. He'd passed out after his excruciating battle with the miniature Kung Fu master, Gung Fi. Mm, unfortunate. <laughs> you can't cancel a 10-year-old, I'm pretty sure. How long have I been out? Davis stood from his rest and looked around at his friends that were still around him, Barry and Dan. They were sitting next to him, staring down the long hallway. Two hours. Both Barry and Dan appeared to be quite upset over something. Each was scowling a cruel grimace of frustration. Wow. <laughs> cruel grimace of frustration is, is dramatic, huh? What are you guys so upset about? Davis asked, still feeling groggy. Oh, I'm sorry. What are you guys so upset about? Davis asked, still feeling groggy. My brother and Nathan went on to explore some more and then come back to get us. Barry replied with slight irritation in his voice. What? Davis jumped up in surprise and anger. I love how many times this kid just wakes up after getting knocked out cold. Yeah. All right. Mm, scene change. About two and a half miles ahead of Davis and the others. Two and a half miles? Oh, I guess it was two hours. Okay. That makes sense. Well, that's actually pretty, that's pretty accurate math there. All right. Should we have left them? Brady asked, looking back with regret of leaving his friends behind and wishing he had not <laughs> chosen to do so. <laughs> you know how they say, uh, uh, show, don't tell? I showed and I told. <laughs> I'm going to read that sentence again just to really let us soak that in and get us back in the scene here. Should we have left them? Brady asked, looking back with regret of leaving his friends behind and wishing he had chosen not to do so. Yeah, they would only have gotten in the way if they came with us. I continued walking, stubbornly believing that my choice had been the correct one. So if I get tired, you'll just leave me behind? No, I answered. I'm not going on an expedition by myself. Besides, it's not like we're not going back for them. <clears throat> that has been page 19 of the Mirror Mural. 
Thank you for experiencing this page with me. If I could please get some claps in the chat. Lots of claps in the chat. Big claps in the chat, please. For 10-year-old Nathan. 10-year-old unfortunate Nathan. 10-year-old very unfortunately written Nathan. I'm glad we actually haven't gotten to the chapter where we fight Gung Fi yet because that's truly just a tragic name. Truly tragic. Oh, there it was. See, there's the Diglett. I was in the middle. Oh, H-Man. You guys are killing me. You guys are killing me. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna take all my quarters. Oh wait, we're still playing moody music in the background. Spoofy. Here we go. Try to get that Dragon Ball. Still not the Dragon Ball. You did get another piece of paper. Watch it be read Nate's book okay, again, again. Nope. It's the one that doesn't mean anything. So I'm gonna I'm gonna roll you again, okay? Because I feel guilty about these. These community points didn't turn out. I really thought we were gonna do more community goals, and then I ran out of ideas. I'll roll you another one. It's another piece of paper. If it's community points again, you're just stuck with it. You got bad luck today. Oh! It's a celebrity reads poetry. Well, delightful. A celebrity reads poetry. What are community points? They're the things that you use towards like a big overarching goal. All right, here we go again. Here we go again. We'll pull up our, our spoofy. What celebrity are we reading as today? Do you guys have a celebrity request or am I doing an RNG? And I just try and do an impression of them. Gary Busey. Gary Busey. He's just crazy. We're going to make it so stream today is 75% gotcha redemptions. That's how it feels. I don't have an impression for any of these people. Thank you for following the paradox. Appreciate it. Thanks for the follow. Hugh Grant. I don't have an impression for any of these people. I mean, I have no impressions. David Spade. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I'd have to listen. I don't have a Joe Pesci either. We've done Jerry Seinfeld before. My Jerry Seinfeld's real bad. What? <laughs> it's just a real bad. What's the deal? Ah, that's just annoying. That's just an annoying voice. But that's the first one I've actually been able to do an impression of. God bless you, brother. Great to see a fellow Christian. I'm at work. Gotta go. Thank you, The Paradox. I think that you, you chose a great time to not stick around for this. I appreciate your support. We are. We're doing good stuff. We'll do annoying Jerry, Jerry Seinfeld. Since that's the first one that, that's come up that I've actually been able to do. Let's see. That one's whew, that one's pretty long. This is pretty long. Pretty long. Nike Cage. There's so many suggestions coming in right now. We'll go with Jerry. We'll go with Jerry. Even though it's real bad. Even though it's real rough. I gotta limber up my, my vocal cords with... Uh, some tea. I feel like I get in the headset with like a, an airplane joke. What's the deal? What's the deal? Oh, what? I just uh, do that a lot. How it feels to panic in ordinary places. I live in front of a green screen. The trees that line the streets vary in shades of comfort, but I stay the same inside. My Rosa Corsa Ferrari. Oh. He does like cars. He likes cars and he likes coffee. If this mentions coffee, I'm going to lose my mind. 10 minutes somewhere is 10 minutes anywhere. But somehow, one hurts more than the other. Every now and again, he turns country. What's the deal? What's the deal? Again, there we go. Oh, no way! When I'm driving to the coffee shop. <laughs> On the corner near the Dairy Queen I used to go to after middle school plays. The air smells like bonfires and people who chit chat in the checkout line. What's the deal with them? <laughs> when I'm driving on the other side of town, where the road is six lanes wide instead of two, the traffic lights sway uncertainly 
and the air smells like shards of glass. Nothing's different. The screen is still green. The car, still red. The world is still open. I am still the one behind the wheel. That's it. Please chats, chat, uh, claps, claps in the chat. Lots of claps, lots of claps for that. Excellent impression. I have a feeling you could show that video to anybody and they'd know exactly who I'm impersonating. That's definitely one that's just so solid that it's just unfollow. <laughs> yeah, same. Can I unfollow me as well? Lots of chats in the claps. Lots of chats in the claps. Don't know what just happened. My brain is bleeding and I forgot to turn off Spoofy again. You guys are learning that I'm an amateur here. You guys are learning I'm a real amateur. Paradox, I hope you stayed followed after that. Lots of claps in the chats. All right, let's see. We'll go into one of these rooms. I still don't think I still don't think I've explained what the diglets are for, did I? Pineapple Pope, did I explain it to you? It increases your shiny odds for four minutes. Um, but more specifically, it increases your shiny statue odds. And when you get shiny statues, um, you're able to put them in your uh, in your what should call it? What is it called? Your space, your little shelters you can build, whatever they're called. And whenever you do that, you can put those statues in and get a boost on your shiny odds for different rooms when you make them. So like if you know who you want, I feel like we already caught a side deck, didn't we? So just another way to exploit the shiny mechanism under here. An important thing to know is that they will never appear shiny in the overworld, which is frustrating. Ugh, I didn't want to fight it. I tried to get around it. There was space. There was space around that hitbox. I can't believe how long it took for us to get through. <laughs> Those gotcha pines. It was a lot of gotcha pines. What's fun about this, too, is that it levels with you. So this is a super good place to grind, as was already been pointed out. Our Tardo. Swabaloo. I would like this. I would like this bird quite a lot. I would be a big fan of having this bird. Um, let's see. I hope that controller is still. Ah! You're right. I didn't. No, the timer's still going. I paused it. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. All right. It's going down. Uh, let's see. This is the A. Uh, Poison Fang didn't do much, but it did enough. I, it is now upside down for another three minutes and 26 seconds. Swablu, no! Swablu! Don't do it! Don't do it! Oh, no! Uh-oh. Uh, don't kill it, please? Please? Moderation, come on. Use some moderation. Thank you. No! No, poison! I got one chance. I only got one shot. Do not. Oh, no, maybe I might have, might have more than one shot. Perfect. Uh, hey. Yeah! Interesting, I did not know this. So do the statues you find in the... Yes, yes. So you put your statues, if they are shiny, if they're the green ones, if they're the green statues, put those in your secret base, and they will increase your odds at shinies in specific rooms. So if you wanted a psychic shiny, you would put out all of the psychic statues that you have that are green, and it'll boost your odds for each one that you get. And then whenever you go into a room that is psychic, those Pokemon will have, have higher odds. All right. Shaggy. Shaggy. Hey, I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. You just got to rewire your brain for a second. You just assume... Oh, it's not caps. It's not caps. That's wild. Are you referring to the shiny, the shiny hunting method there? Maybe 30 bats? It's pretty ridiculous. How to bend and stand when you're still young. Who's gonna have your back when it's all done? Fall over when you're looking down the run. Down to your cool one. What about the longer run? Do we want to add to our party or send to a box? I would like to add to our party, but I'm not. That's up to that's up to chat. Keep in mind, this is a flying dragon type. Which would be incredibly helpful. Okay, who do we want to replace with it? Who are we replacing? Also Burb would make sense, but I do like having Also Burb in the team just for context. 
Shaggy reading poetry? I'll do that. If you guys remember it next time. You'll just have to remind me which Shaggy. Balboa? Aww. We'll miss him. We'll miss him. We could always potentially have him back somewhere else down the road. Okay, now i got to figure out what in the world I'm doing! Okay. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So yeah, now you know more. Now you know more about the secret base there, my friend. And we'll get the secret base here in just a second. But I would like to make some progress, huh? Two confirmed. That's not too bad. Uh-oh. Nope. Uh, oh, boy. Okay, this is very difficult upside down, it turns out. Yeah, this is the challenge. Okay, all right. This is the challenge. Okay, there we go. All right. Nope, nothing. No! Okay, okay, okay. All right. These are the boxes I was talking about. So every now and again, you'll get shiny somethings in these boxes. Come on. But not often, just every now and again. And so you increase your odds to get a shiny box by collecting all 40 Diglett. All right, I finally get to crawl back over. Oh, thank goodness. Um, and I think I've already messed up. Yeah, might as well just go ahead. Bummer! But I'll show you guys what these boxes look like. So these are the little boxes that you collect. And if it calls them a gorgeous box, then they're shiny. Ugh! Rode them! And to leave the underground, you hit Y, and you go up. Nice! I will take that. Try and go get my secret base from him. See if he's ready for it. He might not be. The odds are pretty likely. How was it? What if I already did that? Oh, good. Nice! So now you get the drill, and the drill will let you make your secret base. Nice, 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 nice! Nice. Let's make ourselves let's make ourselves a secret base right here in Eterna City. Right here in Eterna City. And yes, I do realize that this looks like my drill will pierce the heavens. Hey, where was my There it is. Weird. Oh no, I don't want to do I don't want to look for me. Um, but if you guys want to join our um, to join our, our group, let me know. Because we can go to the Grand Underground together. Um, a Jirachi. We got a Jirachi in the last town. You think you could use a ground-type Pokemon to do that drilling? For real. You can't. I bet that this space right here has the most secret bases start. Oh, what? Would you like to? Yes, yes, there we go. For some reason, I thought you could just use it straight from the thingy. But you cannot. Let me in! Lurking, all good, Bwish. Thanks for letting me know you're lurking. So this little orb right here, uh, Pineapple Pope, this tells you your statue effect. So currently there's no statue effect, but we do have statues. So if we place our electric ghost statue right here... And now we'll check our effect. Slightly raises the appearance rate of electric-type Pokemon. So when you use Shinies, it's going to slightly raise the um, shiny um, Pokemon. There you go. There you go. Now you know. The more you know, the better the game gets. Quick, as Buish is lurking, it's, our, it's time to begin the mutiny. Mods are asleep. I can't believe we have three flying types on our team. Awesome, I have a lot of statues to place. Yeah, so I think the more you can like focus it in on one type at a time, I think the more space you can utilize. 
So you really want to fill it up with one type of thing at a time. I wonder if I can get any friendship balls now. That would be helpful. Have I watched Hawkeye? I've watched episode one. Um, I actually texted Out of Sense about it last night because my hot take is I really, I just, I firmly don't think that there is as bad of an actor as Jeremy Renner on Planet Earth. Have you ever done a playthrough where you go through with one type as if you were a gym leader? I've never done one. I've heard of them. I'd be down. I'd certainly be down to give it a shot. I think it's a strong entry. He gets better. I'm biased. I just don't like the man. I just don't care for him. Um, but the acting between him and his children is some of the most painful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. But I've enjoyed the, I've enjoyed everything else about the show. Lurk, gotta wake up Noelle from her nap. Very nice. Yeah. I've enjoyed it as well. I don't want to knock on the show. I just want to say that I think the Jeremy Renner could be the worst actor I've ever seen in my entire life. Didn't think it was bad at all. Woof, I thought it was rough. But again, I also just don't like him. I don't like his weird app. I don't like, I think he is probably one of the most vain people ever. Just not a fan. Just not a fan. But I did. I thought that, especially the scene in the first restaurant, the first episode where they're in the Chinese restaurant, I, I was like, Ooh. Ooh. I think that this is mostly your bias against Jeremy Renner. It might very well be. It might very well be, but I thought that it was rough. That scene in particular. His rapport with uh, Vanessa Hudgens, isn't it Vanessa Hudgens? Felt good. And he, he barely even been with her. Haley Steinfeld, that's it. Not Vanessa Hudgens. Haley Steinfeld, or however you spell her name, steals the show for sure. Yes. That's probably an insult to Haley Steinfeld, because I feel like she does a lot better than Vanessa Hudgens. I don't know anything about the guy besides the movie I've seen him in. Oh, Jeremy Renner. Jeremy Renner has an app that's like a personal Jeremy Renner Patreon. He's just a little weird. He's a little, um, gosh, who else? Who, who could I compare him to? That's a really bizarre thing to do. Yeah, it gets worse, actually. The more you learn about it, the weirder it is. It's just very, he's a very strange guy. But he is like the epitome of, uh, of vanity for me. And I just don't think he's that good. Kevin Hart is the only person. He's very Kevin Hart. Or Dwayne DeRock Johnson. Very much that kind of vibe. But I feel like not so much. I mean, Kevin, Kevin Hart is obviously, you know, a phenomenon. Dwayne The Rock Johnson has like the whole thing of like his, like literally his name, his name, he has a nickname. He has a name that goes in um, quotes, right? Scare quotes. That's, that's ludicrous. It, it's very much something that, uh, you mean that guy from Fortnite? Yeah, right. That was big, wasn't it? That was a big reveal. Dwayne Johnson got brainwashed by Kevin Hart and you can't see me otherwise. He's definitely has changed. Out of sense, I'm surprised there are such blatant errors in regards to archery in the show. Are you, though? Are you surprised, or are you just disappointed? They've never cared too much. They've never been too concerned. Kevin Hart, Dwayne, the duo from Mad Max Thunderdome. I don't need any herbs. I don't need any herbs. I played Herb in, um, what's the name of the musical? Godspell. I also like the use of ASL in Hawkeye. I have not gotten to that part yet. I'm very excited for it. ASL is an awesome feature. That's what Christina was saying. Did I say American Sign Language or English is a second language? Did I confuse it with ESL? Because I might have. It's brought a lot of attention to hearing impairment. I very well could have said ESL. I'm very sorry if I did. It is not the same thing. But both are very important. Honestly, my brain is basically quit for the day, so I couldn't tell you what you said. All right. Defeat Gardenia at the Eterna Gym. Where is Eterna? Out here. Gardenia. Do I have anything to take down by you? Yeah, also burb should be fine. But yes, we're using Jirachi out of sense. We get Jirachi because I played um 
sword and shield on here. Grace! Grace type hates fire. Grace type also hates flying. Time to take them all down. This actually, um, I'm ashamed to admit, took me longer than I thought it was going to. Whenever I did it last. You have to find the hiding trainers. And they were really, they were they were pretty good. They are pretty good at hiding. There she is. They were pretty good at hiding last time. How'd you know where to find me? I'm super smart. I played the game again with a save file that I might very well have erased. I cannot wait to get home and to check my save file. I'm so anxious. I hope that you guys are anxious on my behalf. How did you find me? I was hiding behind a tree. <laughs> I have an isometric view. Exactly, right? That is kind of the weird part about it. I was hiding, but literally you would have seen me. You would have almost immediately seen me. Unless you are living outside of your body. Unless you're having an out-of-body experiencing. Rosalia. I should have teared through these pretty fast. But should and do are two different things. Hopefully Swablu has some wing attacks or something. Gusts. The end. Just past two boulders. Past a couple of boulders, I think. Not these. Did I miss it? The other one? The other side? Could very well be. Paste a couple of boulders. Oh, there's past two boulders. Perfect. Past the boulders. There they are. How'd you find me? Aroma lady. What a disappointing day. No, no super rares except for maybe a card that's either worth anywhere in between $7 and $175. Or I also didn't get to go shiny hunting. Double disappointment. No, you know, I said that if my game was erased, I'd probably be playing Minecraft. But the truth is, is that the new Danganronpa S just dropped as well. And I haven't gotten a chance to play it yet. And so that's probably going to take priority over Minecraft. But I do really want to build a mountain house. If only I didn't have to sleep. Sleep is such a burden, you guys. Don't you agree? Sleep is the worst. We know you can't stay away from a good death game. Yeah, except I'm pretty sure this is just uh, a beach episode. I'm pretty sure this is the beach episode of the anime. Which I feel like your pastor probably shouldn't be telling you that, you're ex that he's excited for the beach episode game of a game that he plays. But I am very excited. Just for any more Danganronpa voice acting and character art to get to learn more about them. I'll take it. I disagree. Sometimes the prospect of a good nap is the only thing that gets me out of bed in the morning. I wholly disagree. We're on opposite ends of the of the uh, spectrum there. If I didn't have to sleep, I would never sleep again. That is totally not my personality. I do not nap. I have never napped. I have fallen asleep and taken a nap only by the fact that I could not physically keep my eyes open any longer. Right there with you, h -Man. Sleep when I'm dead. I loathe it. I loathe the experience of sleep. I truly, I truly mean what I say. If I did not have to, I would never. I think I'm that poison. Beach ups are fun. If you're capable of overlooking fan service, they're usually good opportunities for character relationship development. That's it. That's the way I put it. And that's what I'm really looking for. Is that these, the Danganronpa games are so short that you only get so much time with these characters and I want more! I need more! I'm out here reading fanfics. Those are way more dangerous than a beach episode. You gotta be careful with the fanfic. You gotta be very prudent. Plus it's non-canon. That's deep. Fixer a wasteland, exactly. At that point you gotta ride them yourself like I did with Hotel Dusk. 
that is that is on a computer that is at the dump. That's on my old, old, old Macintosh from my parents' house that is now long gone. I don't need that. I show up two hours early to get a good spot in the kindergarten pickup line. Ah, I see your I see your strategy there, stained glass. So have we been interrupting your naps with the, with our stream? Are you getting are you getting yeah, I was about to say, you're getting less less naps now. Have we interrupted your nap cycle? With our streams? I'm so sorry about that. Giggle! Of course I'll battle you! <laughs> I'm fine! I love a nap, but I don't like having to take the time to do it. I do not like a nap. I do not like the way I wake up from a nap. I do not like the idea of having to take a nap. I do not enjoy sleeping whenever I normally sleep. I don't think I'm sorry. I'm probably not. I'm happy that you're with us, stained glass. Happy that you're here. But I am sorry if you just need that precious time. Just had a huge case of deja vu, says HBN. Why was that? What was the deja vu specifically? Sounds like you are consistent. It sounds like you consistently missed the prime wake up window for your naps, man. That may be it. And it may be because I've taken so few naps that I don't even know what it's like to experience a good nap. My dad is a napper. My dad is a big napper. He naps often. Often and deeply. He's also a snore napper. He lays back in his recliner, gets nice and cozy, and you just hear the chain chain mill start sawing. Sounds like you... Yeah, 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 yeah. What was your deja vu, HBN? I'm still very curious. If it weren't for naps, I would have exactly zero degrees to my name. Zero degrees to your name. I was, like, trying to figure out what you were doing there. Maybe 30 bats. I thought you were, like, 30 degrees? 30, 30 degrees is his name. 30 bats, 30 degrees. Would he have none of his degrees to maybe 30? But now I understand that you mean educational degrees. Got it. Big brain time. Don't really know. I was scrolling Facebook, the post I was seeing, and the whole nap combo feels super familiar. Well, I can guarantee you guys, I don't think I've ever talked to you all about naps. So it's true blue, true blue deja vu. You have seen this before in a dream. Is that how deja vu happens for you guys? That's how my deja vu happens. I dream at first. My premonition dream. The future. It may be a superpower. Just maybe. Yeah, also verbs out front. Perfect. That's how it feels. Nice. No, no, h -Man. It's not how it feels. It's how it is. We are super beings. You kept me waiting. I had to go through all of your baddies. I can't just go straight to you. We are X-Men. That's the big theory, by the way. I don't know if you guys saw the latest MatPat theory. Is that the end of Shang-Chi sets up for the X-Men, supposedly? I don't I don't know. I don't know. So burn on the Marvel Universe that I have no clue. Let's see. Yeah, it feels as though I knew it already to the point that it feels predictive. I will say, maybe 30 bats, I don't feel like I spoiled anything for you in Shang-Chi because it is, a, it is a game theory or a film theory from Matt Bat, so it's kind of a stretch. It's not like an X-Men comes through a time portal and it's like Wolverine's like, we're going to be in a movie soon, bub. It's not that, so don't stress too bad. I think the end of Far From Home will introduce the X-Men to, uh, to uh, the MCU. That's That was, that was Matt Bat's theory. Shang-Chi set it up for Far From Home to do it. Uh, let's do this one. The big bad from uh, Shang-Chi is apparently a big bad also of Doctor Strange. Look, Wolverine is a Christian and Nightcrawler has brought him to conversion. That's all I need to know to love X-Men. I thought it was the opposite of that. I thought Nightcrawler was Catholic and he brought Wolverine to faith. Oh, yes, you said that. That's what you said. That's precisely the way you said it, too. I just read it backwards in my brain. Yeah, that is a super fun, that is a super fun arc. Gonna make X-Men United. Yes, yes, that is, that is the way it works. That is the way it works. 
But he was definitely Catholic, right? I'm pretty sure Nightcrawler's Catholic. Both movies will end at the Statue of Liberty. So this was something that I was listening to a podcast the other day about. So without spo- I haven't seen, I have not seen um, Ghostbusters. I don't know if you guys have seen Ghostbusters. I have not seen Ghostbusters. Um, but even in the trailers, I've understood that the children in Ghostbusters do not realize that the Ghostbusters, as they were in the 80s, exist. And the podcasters were talking about, like, how is that possible? The Statue of Liberty walked around. A giant marshmallow Stay Puff Man attacked the city, right? Like, these huge events happened. How did the kids not know about it? And the showrunner's argument was that exactly, right? Kids don't understand the major events that have happened in history. Like, and imagine having to Google 9-11, right? Like, obviously, that's a dark turn, but it's an argument for the internet age kids not knowing the things that happened that were landmark events for those of us that are either older or especially those of us that grew up truly in the Ghostbusters era, which is not me as much, but I at least know Ghostbusters. But that's kind of the, like, argument that the showrunner was trying to make. Now I'll go back to what you were saying. That's why all these nihilist Wolverine treatments have been scratching my head. Dude's a practicing Christian. Yeah, yeah, Logan didn't make a lot of sense. Kind of threw that cannon out. Nightcrawler does sound like a great name for a street evangelist. Oh, gosh. That's a good one. Carries the rosary. Memorable event. Very good point. They discount it very quickly that the kids are young, don't care, and are more focused on the right now. I see. I was supposed to see Ghostbusters this weekend. I'm now going on Thursday. Kind of the way we look back on the Kennedy assassination. Right? Like, the Kennedy assassination means nothing to me other than documentaries that I've seen. That's all I know. It's a weak take, in my opinion, says maybe 30 bats. I could, I mean, I'm not saying I necessarily, like, agree with it, but I found it interesting. I found it a compelling train of thought, even if it's not a very good argument. Those events would have also happened 40 years ago, which, you know, is a good while. Exactly. It's a long time. It's a good old long time. But it's also the Statue of Liberty walking. <laughs> I mean, stranger things have happened. Kids are awake and I'm angry and are angry that I'm not coming to get them. Gotta run. All good, Zando. Thanks for joining us. We were gonna end up soon anyway, so. Good to see ya. We'll catch ya. Catch you around the Discord, and I hope my data is safe as well. I gotta send some Digimon in to save the day. You've got mail! We just took down Gardenia to close the stream here. It's a good way to do it. The anniversary of the Pearl Harbor attack is tomorrow, and that happened 75 years ago. Yeah, and I feel like my knowledge of Pearl Harbor is the movie Pearl Harbor. Other than what I learned in history books. Like, I have no real attachment to it. Is that wrong? Probably. But that's where I'm at. That's the same magnitude, at least, of Lady Liberty walking around. I might have to disagree with you. <laughs> That's really a scary thing to do. I don't want to at all. I do not want to at all minimize the horror uh, uh, of terrorism or of war or of the attacks on countries. So I want to be very careful. But there's a difference between an attack and a stone statue walking. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm being real close, real close to saying something unfortunate, so I'm gonna be careful here. I, but I do think they are different. I don't know. Like, I feel like <laughs> the supernatural element is what it, what it gets down to, right? Cornering Nate into hot, wild takes, that's it. It's such a scary place to be at, but one is carried out by man, and the other one is a ghost with the statue walking. Try exploring Eternity City. No! I don't want to explore. Oh, I know what I need to do. Left turn to the confo. This is a left turn in general. So are you about to left turn us again to a better space? A better space than saying Pearl Harbor was not as big of a deal as the Statue of Liberty moving around? Because it was definitely as big of a deal. That's not what I'm saying. You're actually weakening the showrunner's argument with that, I gotta say. I'm not saying it's my argument. I'm just saying it's the showrunner's argument. Again, not even suggesting necessarily that I agree with it. 
Just that I thought it was interesting that's what he... How he explains it. I found it compelling. Nate doesn't believe Pearl Harbor was that bad. Not true! That's an illegitimate hashtag. An illegitimate hashtag. Not true. Hashtag not true. Hashtag fake news. 1945 was okay! No! No! And you know what's worse is somebody's gonna make a stinking clip out of this whenever they watch back on the VOD. Looking at you, Bwish. <laughs> now this is gonna be a clip! I don't want this! I don't want this on my permanent record. Okay, my wife is a music teacher. She had her winter concert on Pearl Harbor Day one year. She didn't know it until she got there and someone told her to have the veteran stand. She did so and then immediately went to a winter song in Japanese. <sighs> oh no! Oh boy! That is the. Ooh. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, whoever planned that event did not think it through. Always Google. Oh, always Google, friends. Friends, always Google. Man, that's tough. So what I was hoping was that Stained Glass's comment was going to left turn us out of the ditch. But instead, down further into the ditch. <laughs> What have we done? That is too funny. What a wacky day this has turned out to be, huh? Wacky. And where do we start? We started with Catholicism and Nightcrawler's life. And Wolverine being a Christian. Light life Wolverine. Whew. I've always found it more interesting. Is it Batman a Methodist? What is Batman? Batman is Batman is tangentially, tangentially related to the Methodist Church in some way, shape, or form. His parents were Methodist or something. Batman is an orphan. <laughs> nice one. Nice one. Hashtag 1945 was okay. My, my favorite moment from the stream. No! What's up, the Nat? Sorry. How are we doing? How are we doing? I think he's tangentially connected to the Episcopal Church. Maybe that's what it is. Shalom, hope all is well. How are you all doing? We're doing well here. You're just coming in on the tail end of, a, of an unfortunate conversation as we're wrapping up stream here. But we're happy you're here. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Even for the very end. We hope your weekend went okay, the Nat. Sorry. How'd everything go this weekend for you? What's the conversation? Well, we were talking about Catholicism in Nightcrawler's life. Then we started talking about the Ghostbusters movie and the fact that the kids in it don't remember that the Statue of Liberty uh, walked around as a ghost. And then that turned <laughs> H-Man, no! And then that turned into a conversation on memorable moments in history and whether or not they're worthy of remembering or capable of remembering or whether they have the lasting power. And so we said that kids today don't remember Pearl Harbor. And maybe 30 Bats was saying those are similarly big deals. Statue of Liberty walking around in Pearl Harbor. And I made the unfortunate argument that I'm not so sure if they're comparable. I think that the Statue of Liberty might be more memorable than Pearl Harbor. Oh, no. No! What have I done? What have I done? Pearl Harbor is a tragedy. Pearl Harbor is an absolute tragedy that we will remember and that should be honored and the veterans and the lives that were lost should constantly be remembered. The Statue of Liberty did not happen. Nat, sorry. I made no comment. Anyway, my weekend. The last two days of Hanukkah, so I had a fantastic time. Lots of feasting, gifts, and partying. That's awesome. Nate thinks... What? Fiction. Fiction is worse than history. I, I, I might stand by that one. I don't know. That one's pretty... That, that's pretty fair. I think fiction. I think we can dream up worse things than have happened. I don't know. Is that a hot take? That might be a hot take. You'll notice I didn't read that statement last row. You tried to catch me. You could have got a clip. I said, no, no, no. Um, I just checked, and though he was raised in a Christian home, unfortunately, Batman is canonically an atheist. Yes, there's a great arc. There's a great arc with Batman in church where he becomes an atheist. That's what made me remember it. 
but I can't remember what his parents are. Have you seen Man in the High Castle? I have not, H-Man. I'll have to check it out. Is it related to our conversation? Which one of them? Batman is an atheist, but only sort of. Batman is Batman is a confusing figure, but he has some great... Tom King did some fantastic Batman and religion pieces. Absolutely fascinating work with Batman. So I would highly recommend checking those out. Um, with that, we're going to save. Because it's almost time for the end of stream. A bizarre stream to say the least, friends. An absolutely bizarre stream. I did not know whenever I woke up today that this was where I was going to go. But here we are. We've done it. We've talked about things that we didn't know we'd be talking about, but we did. As a reaction against loss of his parents, tread to tangentially related Bat Batwoman is Jewish. Just found that out. Lives in the dark, prides himself as living on the shadows, but hiding in vain sight. Batman, the atheist. Historical figure where America loses World War II. Oh, dear. Very interesting. Very interesting man in the high castle. I'll have to keep that one in mind. I'll have to add that to my letterbox. My watch later list for sure. Folks, we're going to wrap up the stream there. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for being a part of this. Unboxing some Pokemon cards and almost shiny hunting and maybe losing my entire Pokemon Diamond game. Isn't that fun? Folks, three things that we believe to be true about every single one of you. We believe that number one, God loves you. Number two, we love you. We want community with you. That's what we're doing here on Twitch and on Discord and on YouTube. Exclamation point Discord in the chat if you want to join that. And find us on YouTube, backslash C, backslash Checkpoint Church. We also have a VOD channel now, so if you want to watch this, we'll, we'll have a VOD channel available for you as well. And third, and most importantly, we believe that you matter. You are a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. Folks, with that, we're going to wrap up this problematic stream that has gone all the way from a 10-year-old naming a character Gung Fi to now... Uh, talking about Pearl Harbor and Batman the Atheist. If you want to continue the conversation, please do move it over to the Discord, and I'm going to try to forget this stream ever happened. <laughs> oh, man. Whew. Boyce is going to have a fun time coming back from the lurk and watching this one for sure. Folks, if you want to make clips, they will make it into our clips channel, our highlights for each month. So be sure to watch back on the VOD. If you had any moments that you want to clip, clip them out. You will get the credit for clipping those scenes. Thanks so much for joining our stream today, and we will look forward to... Should I? Is it worth it? What are you referring to the Discord? It's very worth it. Our Discord is quite jam-packed with incredible and awesome people. Um, scale of 1 to 10, our Discord. I think our Discord... This is Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be honest. Because obviously the, like, the like reactionary is like, 10, man, 10! But I would say our Discord can always improve. So I'm going to say it is a solid 7.5. We're getting better every day. We do have some improvements that we're going to be making in the coming months. And so that's more reason to join it because as you join it, it's going to get better. But we have an awesome community. The community in Discord, 10 out of 10. The actual functionality of the Discord is getting better every day. We're always improving it, changing it up, and making it very, very fun. Um, I think that, yeah, it's a great Discord. I would encourage you to join it because we have a lot of good times over there. We have games to play over there. And yeah, that's that. We'd love to have you over there. Um, as long as we continue to do good, to do no harm, and to strive to grow, um, that's what that space is for. So we'd love to see you over there, Sorry, I know you've been to a couple streams, so we'd love to have you around. But with that, we're going to wrap up the stream. I've already said the three things, so I'm just going to say I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Monday. Try to avoid any further conversations about Pearl Harbor. And until the next time, let us see you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye!